What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today's video is gonna be a little bit different. We're out in the bait laboratory and I am basically experimenting with something in today's video. I'm gonna be trying to make three color laminate worms and I only have a dual injector, so that means I can only inject two colors at one time. So I have an idea on how I can go about making the three color laminate. So we're gonna see how it goes. I haven't tried this myself, so we're kinda of just winging it. We're hoping to get lucky. We're hoping to hit the nail on the head. But I'm gonna film the whole thing, so whether it's a failure or a success, we're gonna be putting it out on video, so follow along and see what I come up with. And as always, guys, you're gonna see a lot of different products that I'm gonna be using in today's video, and they're all gonna be dual mold products, and I'm gonna put a product list down below, and if you guys go to get any of these products after watching this video, please make sure to use the dual molds affiliate link, which is gonna be down in the description of today's video. I'm gonna have the link for you guys to use, so that way if you click on that link and go to their website, from that link, they're gonna know that I sent you, so any sales that come from you clicking on that link will give me credits, one of the ways that they are tracking my ability to get in front of you guys, so I'd really appreciate if you use that link. And then underneath that is everything that you need to search for on their website in order to make sure you're buying the right stuff. So check out that product list and the link down in the description. So of course there's gonna be a couple things that you're gonna need, and remember I'm gonna put a product list down in the description of today's video. You're gonna need a dual injector, and you're gonna need a mold, obviously. The mold that we're gonna be using in today's video is the El Gasano mold. It's a great drop shot worm, just a great overall universal worm that you can add to your soft bait, soft bait making arsenal, but you gotta have the dual injector, and you gotta have some type of a worm mold in order to do what we're doing in today's video. Okay, so the first step in this process of trying to get a triple laminate with only a dual injector is to hand pour the bottom of these baits. This is the El Gasano worm from Dual Molds. Uh, it's a three cavity mold, and this is the bottom side. The bottom has a little bit more of a flat tail, but the body is a little bit more symmetrical. So we're gonna start by trying to hand pour everything on this side of the mold, trying not to go too high up in the front of this cavity, but filling up everything in the back side right here. And then we're gonna take the dual injector and pour the rest of the bait later on when we relay that bottom in there. And if that's confusing, you'll see as we go about this. But I'm not a very good hand pourer, so this might be a little bit on the ugly side, but we're just gonna see what we can do, and hopefully we can get some good baits out of this. No idea how this is gonna turn out, but we're just gonna hand pour some of these in. Just like that. Start from the back. And we might have to trim some of this all said and done. But all I want is a bottom. I don't want the whole bait to be brown. I just want the bottom to be brown. We're definitely gonna have to trim up some of that one. That's probably too much, but we'll just keep doing this a few different times and hopefully we're gonna get a handful of these bottoms that turn out good and then we'll be able to relay them in there and then pour up a couple of the colors and come out with a cool triple laminate bait. Guys, I wanna to talk to you about Waterland Fishing Optics. Waterland is my sunglasses sponsor, and it's not something I've mentioned too much on the channel when it comes to my tackle making videos, so I wanted to make sure you guys know about them, because I know some of you guys just tune into the tackle making videos, but Waterland sunglasses are legit. It's gonna be the spawn here pretty soon. I'm going to Lake Havasu you know, in about a week from now, and I have a feeling I'm gonna be relying on those Waterland sunglasses to cut down on glare, help me see into the water, to help me see some of those fish that might be bedding. I have a feeling some of those smallmouth are gonna be on beds, and I'm I'm gonna be relying on my Waterland sunglasses to help me see those fish, to help me catch those big small mouth and maybe some big large mouth that are on beds because I got a tournament coming up and if those fish are on beds, I've gotta be fishing for them just like everybody else in the tournament. It's one of those deals where if the spawn is on, you gotta be doing it and you gotta have an awesome pair of sunglasses like a pair of Waterlands. A few of my favorite frames are the Slaunches, the Hybros, and the Ashore model. I'll be wearing the Ashores most likely. They have a full frame on the side, helps me cut down even more that glare less sun's getting through the sides of those frames so check out the waterland websites waterlandcode.com and use my discount code luna15 it's going to save you 15 percent off 
so this is going to be the last pour of my brown bottoms. And as I've been doing this off camera, I've noticed something that I think would help you guys. So I wanted to do this last pour so you guys could see. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about here in a minute when I get them all done. But I'm going to lift the mold up from the back and it kind of lets everything run down the mold and it gives it a much better, more even shape. So I'm just going to do this and then it kind of lets everything run down and fills up any of the extra little spots in the mold or anything like that and I think it's going to give me a better area to be able to trim these up and it's going to give it a little bit of a divot where there's going to be more space for those other two laminate colors to really connect to these worms. So there you have it, we got our 12 brown bottom colors for our worms. Now we're gonna go to the next step, which is laying these things back inside the mold, and then we're gonna get our blue and our red color ready to go, and then hopefully we end up with some good triple color laminate worms. So as you can see, here are the bottoms that I just hand poured. The better at hand pouring you are, the easier this whole process is gonna be because you're gonna have a lot less trimming to do. So all the flashing and all the excess plastic that you see on all these bottom pieces all need to be trimmed up so they go back into the mold nice and flush. So that's what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna take a, a razor blade and just start to slowly trim and be very careful and very patient to try to get these as clean looking as possible. So what we need to do right now is take this bottom piece of our worm and we need to lay it back in our mold and we want to get it back in the mold as close to exact as possible. And as you can see, it looks like some of these worms have stretched out probably from being taken out of these molds and then put back in. So we're going to have to kind of just go with it and I'll cut that off when I'm able to, but we're just going to try to put these back in as close to exact as possible. I don't think them being stretched out is gonna to make too big of a deal, but as you can see, it's not the easiest thing in the world to do to get these back in exactly, but we're gonna do our best and uh, try to get these in. And when I trim these up, you gotta be super patient with it because if you don't, you're gonna end up cutting too fast, cutting into the worm, and I ended up doing that on a couple, which is why we only have 12. So I took the 12 best that I got out of pouring them and then also out of trimming them. And this is what we ended up with is these 12. So as you can see, I'm still a little bit long on these. I think it's just from, you know, being stretched out on the table and then stretching them when you're starting to cut them. But I don't think that's gonna be too much of an issue. But as you can see, it's kind of tough getting these into the mold. And as always, we gotta get our plastic salt into the microwave. And we have two cups because one color is gonna be red and one color is gonna be blue. So we're just gonna get these into the microwave. And then we are gonna start this for a minute, minute and a half. You gotta get your plastic salt heated up to 350 degrees. That's when a chemical reaction occurs and your plastic salt will now set up correctly. Once you hit that 350 degrees, it's ready to start pouring into your molds. You can add the colorant before or after. I like to do it after because it gives me a more realistic presentation of what that final color is gonna look like once it's all poured into the mold and a final bait. But the main thing to make sure of is get that plastic salt heated up 350 degrees. Just use a the thermometer and check that temperature. Okay, so we got our red and we've got our blue. There's a little bit of red, a little bit of purple, red flake, and then we have a little bit of blue, a little bit of purple, and then pearl powder. So we're gonna see how this goes. We got everything already in our mold, set up and ready to go. Here is our dual injector. So we're gonna draw up our plastisol to get our blending block in here. Make sure we got good flow, we do. I'm gonna come over here, see what happens. I hope that didn't just stop, but we'll see here in a minute, but I don't think it's gonna take a whole lot of plastisol, but I don't think that that was enough, so it might have blocked me somewhere along the line here. All right, so it's time to start taking our clamps off and checking out these worms. I do not know if these turned out or not, so we're gonna try it and see. All right, let's see here. I <laughs> totally worked totally worked you can see that brown on the bottom you can see the blue in there and then you have that red up on top i just don't like the way my brown turned out but overall it's not a bad laminate it definitely triple laminated and these colors when they're actually in the baits 
are a lot better than I expected them to be. But overall, not a bad worm. That'll catch fish. I'm gonna have to throw it the next time I go out to the lake and see what happens. So it's time to get our brown bottoms back inside of our mold. And I would say that this was a success already. Those, those worms turned out pretty solid. The worst part of these worms, in all honesty, are the bottom color that I made. I gotta work on my brown for sure. It is not the brown that I was going for. But for the sake of the video, it's definitely gonna work. Uh, the white that I put inside of this brown killed it. I was trying to lighten it up a little bit. I wanted it more like of a tan. I don't like that worm. But I wanted it more of like a tan than anything. And um, it ended up kind of graying it out, unfortunately. But for the video, you guys are gonna see that you can definitely make these triple laminates with only having a dual injector by using this method that I'm using in today's video. But I'm gonna get these all in and then we'll pour up this next batch. All right, so the blue and red are ready to go. So we're gonna draw up our plastisol, come over to the mold, a little bit of pressure down, doesn't take a whole lot. Barely takes any plastisol in here. It's crazy how little it takes. Top off our sprue, just like that. We should got a, should have gotten a good laminate based on the way everything's looking. Put everything back into our cups. And then we'll check these worms out here in a second. All right, let's check out round number two of our worms, see how they turned out. And these ones laminated as well. Hopefully it's coming through on camera right there. Hopefully you can see that reddish purple and the blue and then into that brown on the bottom. These turned out way better than I was expecting. I'm not gonna lie. I knew I thought, I thought I knew it was possible, but it's definitely a better looking worm than I expected it to be all said and done. All right, so here we go with our last set of our brown bottoms. I don't know how these ones are gonna turn out. I say these ones are probably the worst ones that I saved. And one thing I've noticed so far while doing these is you can't over pour the tail. If you over pour the tail, you're gonna mess up the baits because the, the laminate that you're pouring secondary over the top of this stops and you don't get a complete worm. But it is what it is, learning experience for sure. But I'm gonna have to try this again and try to get my brown to work better. But I still think these are gonna, I still think they're gonna catch fish. But I think they definitely could have been better. I think the color could have been better on the bottom. I think my top colors turned out pretty close to what I was actually kind of going for. At first I wasn't really sure, but all said and done, they actually turned out pretty, pretty cool. All right, so here's our last one of the video. I'm gonna draw up my plastisol right now. And then we're gonna come over to the mold. Make sure everything's nice and seated. Pass this all down. Hold the pressure. And I think we should be good. We'll check these out here in a second and see how this final pour turned out. All right, let's check out these final worms. Hopefully they turned out well. Hoping they did. So far they're looking okay. Let's turn it over. And uh, yeah, they're turning out all right. I think these are gonna catch some fish. Going fishing tomorrow, so I might as well give them a shot while I'm out on the lake. But I really like the way that red top and that blue came together with that red flake in there. Looked really, really good. I just really wish that brown would've turned out better. But it is what it is, trial and error when you're making soft baits like these. So here's our worms all said and done out in some regular sunlight. If you look at the tip right up here, that's where I cut the brown bottom short. So if you wanna get that as flush with the top as you can, but like I said, this is the first time I ever did that. So this one's a little bit better. And then we also have this one right here, which is a little bit better. But then overall, you gotta check the bottoms as well. I didn't get it all the way down at the bottom right there either. But overall, I really think these turned out well. I think they will catch fish. And uh, hopefully I can uh, catch a fish on these tomorrow when I go to the lake. But we'll have to find out. That's the one thing that's cool about fishing. Baits you make yourself is you can make something like this, your own creation. Go out there and see what happens. 
Well guys, I thought these turned out pretty darn good. You can actually make triple laminates with only a dual injector following the method that I did in today's video. Make sure to check the product description down below and if you guys go and buy anything after watching this video, make sure to use the affiliate link that I have in the description for dual molds. It's just a link, you click on it and when you go buy after clicking on that link, going to their website, I will get credit for that sale. So please use that link anytime you guys go and buy anything from dual molds. But pretty cool concept, hopefully they catch fish. I think they will we're gonna find out tomorrow and obviously I film everything guys so if you see me on the water next time in a video throwing these baits and I catch a fish I'm definitely gonna let you guys know about it so I will see you guys in the next video see ya